The target user is a woman, age 27 to 35, who's working part-time and raising a family. Her lifestyle includes socializing, raising children, and going on vacation. A cigar cutter was used as inspiration due to its intuitive form and function. Anthropometric dimensions were studied so that variable hand sizes could use the camera. Other human factors were looked at for final design details such as the shape and size of the finger holes and vertical extension of the camera. Limited finger dexterity requires the height of the camera to remain minimal in order for maximal comfort. The innovative solution causes no more searching through a bag for the camera, no more waiting to access it, and no more restrictions from two-handed use. Simple mechanical operations allow the camera to take pictures without actually clicking a button. It is ergonomically designed to conform with the shape and motion of the hand and fingers. When the fingers are extended, the screen becomes unlocked and automatically powers on the camera. To snap a picture, the user pinches fingers together, triggering the sensor to take a photograph. This one-handed operation gives the user more freedom to capture the subject while remaining balanced due to the grip being in the center of gravity on the product. There is no time wasted finding a comfortable grip. All the user needs to do to grab the camera is take the index finger and thumb and pinch together for a quick capture of the moment. The screen rotates so that the user can take a picture of him or herself. The orientation of the screen also adjusts based on the position to accommodate both left and right handed users. The top part also functions as a clip. It is simply unlocked and can open to be clipped to a bag, purse, belt buckle, or any sort of handle. This is useful for storage and transportation as it makes the camera far more accessible to the user. By adding extra protection to the screen and only exposing it when the camera is in use, the possibility of the screen getting damaged is greatly reduced. LCD screens are frequently damaged due to water damage, cracked screens, or chipped edges. This causes the user to dispose of the camera and contributes to the problem of electronic waste. By increasing the camera durability and product life, electronic waste can be reduced. The rubber exterior is an elastomer material that is adhered to the metal framing. The material selected is neoprene due to its firm and flexible composition. Chemical substances would be added to this material for an all-weather durable coating. The metal parts would be tooled using computer numeric control machining and the injection molded rubber would be adhered to it during assembly. Technical components are placed on the interior frame which holds and accurately positions the image sensor, memory card and digital processor. The screen, clip, and finger parts are connected to the main component through mechanical hinges and tracking systems.
The camera is called the QUIM, which stands for Quick to Perform, User-Friendly, Intuitive Operation, and Mobile Availability. User surveys discovered which colors were best liked and most marketable. Many users preferred blue, green, and red as they are very powerful colors that could be most compatible with existing wardrobe and fashion accessories. The box it would be sold in would be the shape of the top and bottom parts. This differentiates the camera from others so it should be the focus of its marketing.